everybody. Uh, I'm here in the Family Life Center with one of my new heroes, uh, Ron Davis. And we're going to talk about the food bank uh, ministry, what's been going on here. And this has been going on for weeks now. And our crew have been doing an incredible job. But I want you to not hear from me. I want you to hear from the, the guy that's making it happen. Uh, this is Ron Davis. Ron, talk to me about how long we've been doing this thing. Well, a week ago, Thursday, we got a phone call. Actually, you got a phone call <laughs> about uh, they were going to start a new initiative with uh, Raising Arrows where they were going to hand out meals and canned goods Monday until April the 3rd. Okay. So April 3rd came. We were participating the whole time, and then... It was decided that uh, St. Mary's, who was providing the canned goods, was going to drop back to their original schedule, but we were still going to hand out the meals. Okay. So now when they want to, or the participants want to get canned goods, they go to St. Mary's Tuesdays and Thursdays, just like they always did. Okay. All right. So so they're preparing that in, in the kitchen in there, right? Or are they bringing it? It comes prepared. Okay. They put it in the containers in the kitchen. Okay. And then when the uh, people drive up, they tell us how many meals they need, and we provide the meals. We also have a little goodie bag for the kids to try to reduce the stress. There you go. We give them candy and cookies and chips and other things. Oh, son, that, that, that'll help. Now, so folks drive up around the building and come to this double door here, right? That's correct. All right, and then when they get to the door, what happens? We come out and greet them. We talk to them, All minister right. to them a little, offer them, uh, ask how many meals they want, and we provide the food. All right, so so they get a hot meal Monday through Friday. That's correct. Oh, cool. And, and then uh, do we give anything besides the little goodies to the children? Uh, yeah, we ask them if they'd like to have, uh, we've got some New Testament handout Bibles, okay. and we offer them that, and we offer the adults uh, religious material that we've got in, in our storeroom. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's excellent. Uh, good response? Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, uh, they really seem appreciative. We tell them that they can use them as part of their home study, their okay. home schooling. But uh, in, in as far as the folks coming and get the meals and stuff, uh, they're, they're thrilled to have it, or? Yeah, most yeah. are. Yeah. You know, there's there's a menu, and now the menu is out. Uh oh. <laughs> so, so when it's hot dog time, we don't uh -oh. get as many uh, participants. Oh man. As we did uh, earlier in the week. All right, and Ron, you, you've got a group of people that have been coming and helping over these weeks now. Uh, how are they holding up? They're good. They're good. Park. How many of our Mount Vernon folks you think are participating? Anywhere from five to seven. Okay, and the most you have is ten, right? That's correct. Okay, so so that, that that's that's wonderful. Something's coming up this Saturday, though, right? That's correct. Tell me about that. It's our normal third Saturday food distribution, ah. and that's when uh, they'll do the same thing. They don't get out of their cars. They drive around. We are going to take their names this time, and we've got the senior grocery program participants that are also part of that mix. Okay. So that'll start Saturday at nine o'clock. Not in sort of the same. Mix going around there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, that that that's and that's once a month, and then you've been doing five days a week for weeks. Mm -hmm. How's Ron holding up? Ron's holding up just great. Well, way to go, man. We appreciate what you're doing. I just uh, I saw Matthew and I saw Richard, and I know there are more on the way. Uh, we're kind of here before it all gets cranked up because I didn't want to jump in the middle of their of their work. But, uh, brother, we appreciate what you're doing, uh, ministering in the Lord's name and in the name of our church. Ron, you got a big heart for this. Talk to me a little bit about why has this so captured you? You know, I feel that my whole career has staged me to be able to do this. I was an engineer. I'm used to tackling problems, used to getting people involved and getting them motivated and going in that direction. So this was a natural fit for me. Oh, I think the Lord just found the place for you. I believe that as well. And uh, I wanted you to hear from Ron because they're doing such an incredible work. 
uh, in the Lord's name and in the name of Mount Vernon Baptist Church. Folks, hang in there. This will be over for too long. See ya. Thank you.